Hello everyone. So in this video, <coughs> we are going to see next practical of CAE, that is analysis of machine component using 3D element. Okay. So description is given here. Uh, the young modulus uh, is 200. Poisson stress is 0.3. So material is uh, structural steel. Uh, figure shows of simple bracket. Okay which is made of of steel dimensions is also given so first of all you have to create this model and uh, next you have to apply the boundary conditions of 1000 okay, newton per centimeter so this is the pressure load is to be act downward direction and the bracket is fixed from the bottom okay so bracket is to be fixed from bottom support and uh, this force is to be applied and the force is nothing but the, uh, this compressive force and we have to determine the deformation and stresses in Fe okay so first of all the software again which is required for this is ANSYS workbench go to static structure and uh, material by default is uh, selected as a structural steel next directly go to the geometry now first task is to create a model this is very important you have to select first of all xy plane then go to sketching see the sketching first of all you have to create this section okay to 2d section this so boundary blue lines dot dot blue lines so this structure we have to create a first 2d drawing and then we have to extrude this okay we have to extrude this with the dimensions which is given that is 12 mm 12 centimeter okay so all dimensions are are in centimeter so here unit section you have to select the centimeter okay next select the line so, <coughs> so i will show you the simplest way to draw this okay so see from here so from here this is 8 and also from here this is 8, uh, 8 centimeter and middle part is 12 centimeter okay so this is 1.5 this hole is 10 okay so in this way simplest way we will draw first of all select this line see, select the midpoint select the horizontal line okay again select another horizontal line same you go to here okay see, check the dimensions So <coughs> this H1 is to be 6 because total length is 12 and uh, H2 will be 8 this H2 will be 8 again this will be 6 this will be 6 this will be 8 okay. next what to do select this and delete it select this both and delete it because we don't require that <coughs> next from this point to upper section draw a line vertical line same from here okay. vertical line Again, check the dimensions. It should be one point five. Then this should be one point five. Simultaneously, you have to draw both the sections. Okay. Next, again draw the line from this point. This again same here. Again, do the dimensions. Okay. 
it should be 6.5 because 1.5 is thickness okay gap 6.5 yeah this will be 6.5 6.5 okay now from here draw again line from this point draw a vertical line again from this point draw vertical line okay check the dimensions now the total length from this point to top is 10 so here 1.5 is already here it will be 8.5 it should be 8.5 8.5 again this will be 8.5 okay <coughs> now next again draw two lines from this point vertically again same from this point vertical direction okay again give the dimensions it will be same 8.5 okay now join these lines this to this this to this okay so our section is created now just we have to give the fillet okay so, so the structure is created just fillet is required so fillet is also given that is of 3 cm radius okay select the fillet the radius is 3 ok so radius is 3 just select this face this face where fillet is to that two surface we have to select in this way ok so our whatever structure is created next part is extrude apply extrude of 12 centimeter okay. generate so our model is created next step is to uh, create the holes at this section the whole dimensions at the both the face which is given <coughs> is of uh 1.5 1.5 centimeter okay so create that hole for that you have to select the face select this face right click look at then now go to sketching select the circle okay so Go to dimensions 1.5 so location is required so this is 12 so from this point reference point will be 6 dimension should be 6 so the vertical this dimension should be 6 and this dimension should be 3 from 
this this is it okay so we'll uh, only just This distance is if you consider two. Select the distance, this distance that is two centimeter. Okay, similarly draw this or create the hole in this face. Same face. Okay, create your dimensions. 1.5 enter okay distance from this this point to okay, we are not selected this face so reference will be not there so we'll keep as it is so same dimension is to be taken here okay so next part is uh, extrude here instead of add you have to cut the material take uh, you can take 12 cm depth and uh, generate ok so all is created now model is created so minimize this part go to more model <coughs> go to model here we have to fixed lower surface and give the pressure at the upper surface so in this way you have to give boundary condition right click generate mesh insert pressure insert fix support ok so at the bottom area this bottom area we have to fix it uh, if you select the face and if you want to select both the face you have to press control and then select other face ok apply so both the faces are fixed next pressure so at this section and this section the pressure is to be applied apply ok so the pressure should be off uh, 1000 newton centimeter okay. Then uh, right click insert right click insert stress on equivalent stress into okay so right click solve. before there might be some problem
okay now it is solved see see the boundary conditions what is given so convert it in that form and you will get the result okay so i hope you understood this uh, practical thank you thanks for watching